Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay. A very happy, happy new year. And not just a happy new year, but I believe that this year will be your year of divine enlightenment. Um, I believe that God wants you to uh, get out of the narrowness and get out of the, your, the confines and the restrictions. I'm not talking about the, uh, COVID, no. I'm talking about different, different, different limitations. That's the interesting thing. Not safety limitations, but limitations in terms of your your business in terms of every other thing minus your safety after those safety limitations they are very important i believe that this year is going to be a year of divine enlargement and I, I i just can't wait to to see what god will do last year i said it's a year of endless possibilities and the truth of it is it happened just like i said and one of the things that will make me even see that it happened is me speaking to you through graphic online and um on matters of faith. This morning, I like to, um, you know, the year has started and all those other things, but I like to call this morning divine uncertainties. Divine uncertainties, that is the uncertainties that God introduces. I mean, uh, you know, in, in God's dealings with us, there would always be uncertainties. There will always be areas of uncertainties where there will be no clarity, where there will be, you won't see things clearly, where things will not work out. I mean, I, you, you just don't understand. You can't even interpret the situation or see uh, or give an accurate explanation of what is going on. And sometimes it is the dealings of God. I remember, and I'm taking my listening from Genesis chapter 12. Do you remember when God came to Abraham and then he said to Abraham, now you leave. So he says, leave, and then leave this, leave that, leave this. And then he said to him, to a land I will show you, to a land I will show you. Now Abraham has been asked to leave a place that is defined, a place that he knows, heir of the Chaldees. He's been asked to leave that place, and all of a sudden God says, okay, leave. But leave to where? And that's the, the biggest question, leave to where? If I'm leaving one destination, if I'm leaving uh, La, I know that the next destination is probably Teshi or probably Osu or probably Accra or probably Kumasi or probably, you know, Northern Boga or something like that. So God then tells Abraham, leave. And then when he asks him to leave, he doesn't tell him where to leave to. I, I can just imagine the kind of conversation between Abraham and Sarah. You know, women are security conscious. So Sarah goes to, um, uh, Abraham goes to Sarah, and then Abraham tells Sarah, God said we should leave. Who is God? I don't know. How do you know? I don't know. How did he speak to you? He spoke to me in my heart. And he's asking you to do what? Leave. Where are we going? I don't know. For example, I, I've been, I'm a trained scientist. My, ment my mentality says it must fit into a test tube. It must, this, this, this. these are things that are, that are essential for me to make a decision. I, I, I need to ask questions. I need to find out. And all of us, whether we like it or not, we would like to know things. So where is this thing going to end? When is it going to end? How is it going to end? You know, the where, the what, the why, the hows. These are things that we, we, we ask. And here comes a God who just speaks in your heart and then tells you leave. And then uh, uh, um, to a land, I will show you. He doesn't show you that land, but he tells you leave to a land, I will show you. Now this are some of the dealings of God that introduces uncertainties in us. And it makes our hearts, you know, wonder. It make our mind begins to wonder. I want to let you know this, that God will not answer every question concerning the future. He will not answer every question to, concerning the future. If you ask me how tomorrow is going to be like, I don't know. And here's the interesting thing. I'm not going to even force myself to begin to think too much about it. Uh, and for those who would like to prophesy about it, that's fine. But be mindful for we know in part, and we prophesy in part. That's what the Bible says. So sometimes we don't have it all. And sometimes, uh, that's how it is. There are uncertainties in God's dealings with you. And all God expects from you 
It is not our doubt. It's not our, 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 our complaints. He just expects faith from us and trust. So God said to Abraham, a land I will show you. And I want to say this one more time. Revelation is progressive. God is not going to give you the full picture. He may give you a picture, but that's not the, the details of that picture. He's going to work it out. The Bible says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. So here's the interesting thing. Abraham has been given a command, leave to a land I will show you. And then God dangles a, a red herring in front of him. I, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah, that is enough motivation for Abraham to say, whoa, Sarah, here comes blessing. But the blessing, the destination of the blessing, the location of the blessing, I don't know. This is how God deals with us. He, concerning the future, concerning what's going to happen, concerning this year, 2021, I do not have the full picture. And as a pastor, I don't have the full picture. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. So here's the interesting thing. There are angles or uh, places, locations of uncertainty in God's dealings with you. And you have to factor that into the, the, the thoughts you have and the anxieties, anxieties you have about tomorrow. He said to Abraham, leave to a land I will show you. So he's here to show him the land, but he's still asking him to leave. And all he's asking Abraham, will you trust me with tomorrow? Will you trust me with your destiny? Do you trust me that I can do something with your life that you have never ever seen before? So why don't you take the first step of faith? You leave. Your departure is an indication of your trust and faith in me. And so when Abraham left, and guess what? He didn't show Abraham the exact place until many events later. So, divine uncertainties. In God's dealings with us, we need to understand that not all the questions will be answered. With this in mind, changes our philosophy and changes the way we think and what we do. So here we are, divine uncertainties. So concerning 2021, there will be moments of uncertainties. Not all the questions will be answered. But by faith, we are stepping out. By faith, we're moving on. By faith, we know God has a plan for us, a plan to bring us to an expected end, plan for good and not for evil. This is our confidence. This is our trust. That he that has started a good work in us will surely bring it to completion. Because his name is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. If he, doesn't, if he can't finish it, he won't start it. So he won't give us a right to change his name when we get to heaven and then tell him you are Alpha but you are not Omega. No, when he starts this, he'll finish. Divine uncertainties, realities of life. See you later.